Hey there, hey there, I'm Ben Hayden. I'm live on location in Red Deer, home of the Rosies, the 36th annual. Hey, and it's Ben Chewy. We got 140 clicks to go to Edmonton. Each year since 1974, producers and craftspeople who reside in Alberta submit their productions from the previous year for the competition. The Alberta Film and Television Awards, also called the Rosie Awards, is Ampia's annual celebration that honors production excellence. It's known as Alberta's highest honor. Winners are determined through a carefully executed jury process by judges selecting from within the film and television industry across Canada. In 2010, a total of 30 judges were enlisted to adjudicate a total of 490 entries to determine 279 final nominations. Ben Shui and myself investigated the nominees for this year's awards. We asked them questions about their productions, thoughts on being nominated, and what they think of Alberta's place in the growing digital media landscape. Here's what they had to say. It's a resurgence, a uh, resurgence with a extremely high level quality and from what we saw with Avatar and other projects that are coming down the pipe, I think that uh, for sure uh, 3D is going to be the next generation. And Alberta is embracing it. We have an opportunity with the development of the Creative Hub and also with um, the 3D conference that we'll be doing before the NAF Television Festival to bring our Albertans to a level of knowledge base around 3D that's significantly higher than most people in North America. We started with film and then we went to videotape, then we had high definition, and now we have 3D. 3D is, uh, goes back to the 50s, but the technology wasn't right. Today the technology is terrific, and just as we adapted to high definition, we will be doing 3D. That is the future, so I'm 3D all the way. So, what do you think about the Alberta film industry? It's getting pretty big, isn't it? The potential for great work to come out of Alberta is there. There's a lot of talented people in the, in the province. Um, I'm not sure. I don't. Per, I, I've met a lot of people in Calgary personally, and I think there's a lot of talented people. A lot of the talented ones, um, which there are, is a lot in Canada, of course. Uh, if they stayed here, I think the industry could get bigger in no time. But that's the thing. Everybody wants to leave. Uh, go obviously to where uh, the money uh, is flowing um, when it comes to this interest industry and. It's just, you know what, why not stay here and try to build uh, your country and, you know, especially Alberta, uh, a film industry, you know what I mean? Rather than taking off and, you know, helping somewhere else where they've already got, like Hollywood, let's say, everybody wants to take off to Hollywood, but do they really need the help right now? No, they, you know, Hollywood's been on the map uh, since day one and they're the biggest, you know, thing out there for the industry, but, you know, now it's up to us to kind of, you know, stay here and hopefully help, help out Canada with that, uh, with that same success that, is, uh, that America has been enjoying for so many years. The first noteworthy winner of the night was Alex Mitchell for his student film, Reproduction. Alex is a University of Calgary film student who works closely with the Calgary Society of Independent Filmmakers. In this film, he worked with locally situated actors like Mark Robson or Ty Evans, who's currently making a name for himself in Toronto. The best documentary went to Tasered, produced by Joe Novak, Matt Gillespie, and Lynn Reynolds. Joe told me some really interesting insights about taser use when I interviewed him. Here's what he said. What uh, our documentary does is it explores how it has changed policing and what the controversy is or the controversy is between uh, the manufacturer and those who use it and those who are victims. Finally, best picture. This year it went to Tucker and Dale vs. Evil. This is a horror-slash-comedy hybrid film that was an Alberta, UK co-production. Most of the shooting happened in Bragg Creek, and all of the footage was shipped nightly to White Iron Digital Post Studios, where yours truly saw every bit of the hilarious footage that was captured. The film was a hit at Sundance Film Festival this year, and is currently in the distribution phase for a theatrical release. You might have to bring a magnifying glass, though, if you want to see my name. Uh, I'm in there somewhere. So there and back again. We had a lot of fun. We met a lot of filmmakers. And a lot of industry personnel. I enjoyed witnessing that the Alberta film and television community is an interconnected system of professionals working together to create a bright and thriving media culture with lots more potential coming. 
We hope you enjoyed our expose on the Rosie Awards. For Press Plus One, this is Benjamin Hayden and Ben Tui reporting for you.